Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're looking at the Stromberg Carlson Car Caddy Cargo Carrier for a two inch hitch. Now this is gonna be a great addition to any vehicle with a two inch hitch. It's gonna allow you to put some of your supplies, whether you wanna keep them dirty stuff out of your car or if you're loaded up with passengers and need extra space for all their luggage, this could be the ticket for you. So as you can see, we managed to put a cooler and four large luggage bags. It's nice, the cooler fits perfectly side by side. So you can really utilize this space to fill up whatever you may need. Along with the large amount of real estate, it also has a carrying capacity of 500 pounds. So as long as your hitch can handle that, you can load this up with a bunch of different options, whether it be a small lawnmower, maybe a few paver stones from the hardware store. And we've even had customers that have used it for hauling deer to keep the mess out of the inside of their vehicle. As you can see, this is a straight shank design. So it's not gonna gain you any extra ground clearance from the bottom of your hitch. So that's something to take in consideration for ground clearance when you're going to an off-road park maybe or just camping, whatever it may be. Now, another thing I should point out is you can see the exhaust here faces kind of downward, but this could get some damage to your products here. So you wanna make sure anything that's heat sensitive or maybe something you don't want covered in exhaust away from the exhaust area. Maybe store that in the middle away from that heat there are advantages to the straight shank design. And with the way that our cargo is loaded, I still have full access to our rear hatch. So if you're loaded up on vacation and you need to grab some snacks or whatever in the inside, you can still do that, assuming that your cargo is stacked in a situation where it'll clear the hatch. But that is a nice feature to be able to have access to both. Another nice feature of the cargo carrier is the amount of tie down points that are on the rack itself. So that's gonna allow you to strap down whatever you may put on here, even if they are kind of odd shaped. And I recommend using ratcheting straps. That's gonna really cinch that down and hold it in place while you're driving. And if you don't have these, we do have these ratcheting straps here at eTrailer. Before I unload the cargo to give you a few more features of this, I wanna take it out on our test course and see how it acts in a real world situation with a few bumps and evasive maneuvering. So while driving, I didn't notice any major bouncing or swaying. I couldn't actually see the cargo carrier from the mirrors, which is great because it doesn't block any of my views. It doesn't extend past the vehicle, so I don't have to worry about clearance issues. Now over some of the big bumps, I did kind of worry that clearance would be maybe an issue on a lower car, but we had no issues. The best part about it is I didn't know it was back there, and yet we can still carry our cargo without having to worry about it. We're gonna go through the slalom to see what it would be like during evasive maneuver. So side to side action, we're gonna see how it actually moves back and forth and maybe some unpredictable driving that you may see in a real life situation. So after taking it on the test course, overall it felt secure, but I did notice quite a bit of side to side movement as you can see here. There is a little bit of play in the receiver tube. Now that can be fixed pretty easily with an anti-rattle device and we do sell those here at eTrailer. It's a quick and simple installation and it's going to make this seem way more solid and secure. So as you can see we have a standard pin and clip here that does not come with the actual cargo carry itself so if you don't have one of those it is a necessary purchase in order for this to attach to your vehicle. So if you don't have one we do have those here at eTrailer as well. So as I removed the cargo from the cargo carrier itself, we placed it in the car. Now this is a third row, and so there's not a whole lot of space. So as you can see, what we had on this rack is now jam-packed in the back. I've been on vacations where we took a third row SUV for a long hour drive, uh, and while we could all fit in the vehicle, getting our cargo in was a whole nother fiasco. This cargo carrier is going to solve that issue and leave leg room and ample storage for the occupants of the vehicle. So as you can see, it does have a mesh floor and that's going to be great. Water's not going to accumulate and you're not going to get dust, dirt and debris build up in it. Now you do want to be careful if you're driving in rain or snow or whatever it may be, some of that may fling up. So you might put something down to protect it, but when you're done, you can hose it all down and the water will be out of it. The cargo carrier is all steel construction, so it's very sturdy and it's relatively light at 39 pounds, so you can load it yourself. It's also a nice black powder coat finish throughout the entire carrier as well, and that's gonna prevent 
rust and corrosion buildup, and also look good in the process. Now, this may be great for luggage, but I'm an avid biker myself, and I want to take my bikes with me, and maybe I need to attach those somehow. There is a solution. There's also a bike carrier attachment for this. You can pick up the Stromberg Carlson bike rack attachment here at eTrailer, and that's going to allow you to strap up your bikes and take those on the road with you. The assembly of the rack itself is pretty straightforward. It's essentially just two pieces, a center bar, and then you have these attaching crossbars here as well. Now all the hardware is supplied and it can be put together with just a ratchet. It's a carriage bolt style, so you just press those in, ratchet those down, and you can have it put together in about 15 minutes. And that was a look at the Stromberg Carlson Car Caddy cargo carrier for a two inch hitch. Thanks for watching.